Anyway, now that I've gotten that out of the way, let's go ahead and do some Twitter shout-outs, shall we? And, folks, if you don't know, all you have to do is retweet the first tweet on my Twitter account, folks, at Politics Ghost. All one word, no underscores, Politics Ghost. And it is Dear White People, and then it has the link, True Capitalist Radio, now live. I'm talking about that tweet, all right? Now, the reason I put uh, Dear White People, because it's trending, so I figured, hey, why don't we just hop on the bandwagon and hijack that trend for a little bit, but retweet the first tweet on my Twitter account, and I'll give you a goddamn Twitter shout-out right now. <laughs> All right, who else do we got here? We got cancer for Lemmy. Man, leave Lemmy alone, man, all right? I mean, Lemmy, I'm surprised he lived as long as he did with that cancerous growth on his face and, you know, obviously had polyps in his his throat, for Christ's sake. I mean, for years. I mean, I'm just saying. I mean, you know, yeah, he's just paid. I mean, it was just, I don't know. I like Lemmy. I'm just saying. Don't, you know, leave him alone, all right? Uh, Ghost the Carpetbagger. Boy, I ain't no goddamn carpetbagger, boy. You understand that? I'm a true Texan, boy. I love being from Texas, boy. Ain't no carpetbagging over here. This ain't no goddamn Canadian bacon moose humping Ted Cruz crap over here, all right? Ain't no Bush crime family crap over here, boy. Anyway, we got the individualist in the house, Prepper Capital. Uh, we've got, uh, Predator Centipede in the house. The Berg, one, two, three, four, five, five in the house. Uh, we've got, uh, I'm not going to say that sick ass name for Christ's sake. Deport Asho. Oh, Jesus Christ. Leave Asho alone, man. Jesus Christ. You see these haters, man? They're haters, man. Everybody's a hater, you know? We got Fertile Bernie in the house. That's, that's disgusting, for Christ's sake. Uh, Gostonian Weston Chandler. Okay, whatever the hell that means. Uh, we've got Paulie Walks, uh, Paul Walker Barbecue Asshole. That's disgusting, for Christ's sake. we got Mike Nicholson in the house. What's going on? Uh, who else do we got going, folks? Uh, once again, retweet the first tweet on my Twitter account, folks. Politics Ghost is the Twitter account. All one word, no underscores, Milky Liquors, all right? And if you retweet it, I'll give you a Twitter shout-out right here, right now, live on the broadcast, baby. <laughs> Woo! All right, who else do we got going on over here? Uh, we've got regular TCA in the house. What's going on, man? Uh, we've got uh, Trump Hambone. Yeah, right, you idiot. Bernie Hunter 12 in the house. Ghost for President 2016. Uh, I don't know, man. I think I, I think I would shock the world if that happened. Uh, get Wrecked Ghost. Uh, I'm not going to say that disgusting name. Old Crooked Ghost. Old Crooked Ghost. You son of a bitch. Ain't nothing crooked about me, boy. All right? Jesus Christ. I'm as straight as an arrow, boy. You understand that? Uh, we got Weeded Dragon in the house. Uh, we got Temple Bitch. You stupid dumbass. All right, leave my dog alone. Uh, we got Ward 24 in the house. TSA for Ghost. Oh, you scumbags. Let me tell you something, you sons of bitches. I hate the TSA. All right? I think they're the most insignificant, overly funded piece of... Uh, uh, molester, uh, law-induced molestation trash on, on this side of the globe. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Anyway, you got Chris Anderson in the house smoking in Canada. Oh, that's just wrong, man. Seriously. I mean, look, I, I'm, not, I'm no fan of Canada. Believe me, all right? But I, I don't believe that, you know, and we're going to talk about this after the Twitter shout-outs. That's what's happening uh, with this inferno. Uh, should happen to anybody. It's really disgusting and horrible. And, uh, you know, uh, prayers and, and best wishes to the Canadians that are being affected out there. I'm serious. All right? I know I talk a lot of garbage about Canada. I really don't like Canada, to be honest with you. I've, as I've said, they're the pimple on the ass of America. But, uh, you know, unfortunately, it's some serious business. We'll, we'll talk about that here in a second, all right? Uh, we've got very funny asshole, okay, real funny asshole, uh, AJ Styles, 1987, Gulf of Texaco, Jesus Christ, bot specialist, Sergeant Yoda in the house, uh, PTA ghost, oh, Jesus Christ, rainy days for Texas, look, that's enough about the goddamn Texas and rain jokes, all right, I'm serious, I mean, we've had some serious rain, 
I mean, in some parts of Texas out here, it hailed so hard. I mean, it not only broke windows out of cars, for Christ's sake. I mean, I've seen footage where, you know, people that have houses, and I don't understand why people buy siding-based homes, but whatever. Their siding was cracked up all over the goddamn and broken down because of all the damn hail and wind and, and the rain. I mean, it's just disgusting, man. No more rain, Harp. I mean, we've been having some freaky-ass weather out here in Texas. You know, it's been cool in the morning, for Christ's sake. I mean, it's the fifth of mayonnaise, for Christ's sake. It's the fifth of mayonnaise, and it's freaking cool in the morning, for Christ's sake. Jesus Christ. Anyway, uh, harping my mellow. Right, that's the next Twitter shout-out. How quaint. Harping my mellow. Real funny, asshole. Uh, El Foxo Loco in the house. Taco Capitalist. Taco Capitalist, seriously. Barbecue Fort Mac. Ah, Jesus Christ. Here we go. Here we go. You know, it's not even like two seconds later, for Christ's sake. These idiots are churning out the sick, troll, terrorist, cyber vermin names, for Christ's sake. Oh, my God. We got Mask Pony in the place. Uh, I'm not saying that sick-ass name, you son of a bitch. I'm telling you, you guys are sick, man. All right? I'm only going to do a couple more Twitter shout-outs, and then I'm moving on with the broadcast. But good God, with you soulless pieces of trash. All right? I mean, stop making fun of Texas already, baby. All right? I mean, I know I'm listening to throughout the world, all over the Internet right now. But I strongly advise you what's you know look up what's been happening out here in Texas, boy. All right, it's not it's not funny. It's not it's horrible. It's horrible. All right, you should be throwing prayers out here, as far as I'm concerned. You should be praying for us out here. Anyway, we got Liquid Schwartz in the house. Uh, my mom bought, buys me Johnny Walker. Yeah, real funny asshole. I mean, uh, Jesus Christ. Uh, Ghost's mom's to Anne Frank. Yeah, real funny, asshole. Jesus Christ. Toaster Vancouver. Jesus Christ. I mean, do you hear this? I mean, you're soulless, man. Soulless troll terrorist. Soulless cyber burden. Oh, my God. Trump is a ham bone. Yeah, real funny, asshole. Bacon wall of fire. Oh, my God. Tinfoil Texan. All right, Zara Hawks, what's going on? Bureaucrat ghost. All right, that's enough. All right, get these damn Twitter shout-outs and get, get them off my screen, engineer. Oh, my God, what a what a bunch of garbage that I have to deal with, folks. You see this? Do you see what I'm saying, folks? This is the Internet out here. For all you folks that are like, you know, I want to get popular, and I want to be a YouTube star, and... This is what you're going to have to put up with. And I know I went off on YouTubers yesterday, folks, but I'm telling you, all the drama that True Capitalist Radio has dealt with years ago, all of a sudden it's now starting to affect... These YouTube pieces of trash, you know? And everybody's got their own two cents to say about it. You know what I'm saying? I'm sick of these stupid YouTubers, man. I mean, uh, first of all, none of them are remotely attractive at all. I mean, they're, they're, they're hard to look at. Many of them have been beaten with the ugly stick. And that's why I just, I don't know, I don't understand the popularity with these people. I don't get it. They're fruity, for Christ's sake, man. I mean, I'm serious, man. I'm, I, look, I'm not going off on that subject matter again, but seriously, it's, it's enough, all right? Seriously enough. Anyway, let's go ahead and get to Radio Graffiti right now. All right, 509 Radio Graffiti. Oh, give me a home where the Templetons roam, where the beer and the bureaucrats stay. Where? Now shut up, you stupid moron, and leave my dog alone already, for Christ's sake. 727 Radio Graffiti. Hey, man, are there any handicap ramps on the Trump train? Yeah, you son of a bitch. Uh, look, I, look, I'm getting a little sick and tired of you idiots, and I'm serious when I say this, that, that are insisting that I'm crippled, that I'm handicapped, that I'm a paraplegic or some crap. I am not a cripple, all right? So stop it. Stop it already. 786 Radio Graffiti. Oh, Jesus Christ, Helen Keller, deaf mute. How about uh, 808 Radio Graffiti? 
able to identify who exactly this is, is you Jew. Goes. The more Jewish blood this somebody you has, goes. the easier it is to spot this them. You. To successfully identify a Jew, you have to examine all of their facial features. You have to look at their facial shape, nose, ears, this eyes, you mouth, and listen to their voice. People with Jewish blood always have more than one Jewish feature. I personally look for three or more features to decide if somebody is Jewish. Nearly all Jews have naturally curly and coarse hair. This is due to being mixed with... What kind of sick, twisted crap is that? Some little girl teaching anti-Semitic crap. I and mean, what the hell is that? A real black guy, Radio Graffiti. This is True Midget Radio. True Midget Radio. I am your host, the man they call Ghost. The badass of booster seats. Give him stilts or give him that. That's it. Period. And now, he'll take it from here. The boy who never grew up, the man they call Ghost. God damn son of a... I'm sick of them. I, I don't like them. 
They're self-absorbed assholes that believe that every little crap that happens in their life that everybody wants to see. No one gives a crap about you stupid little people, all right? Whatever got you popular, whether you're a little prankster or whether you, you do you know dumb garbage on, uh, on video that goes viral, for Christ's sake, outside of your little gimmicks and outside of your little uh, stupid stunts and pranks, no one cares about you, what you do, what you purchase, who you're banging. No one cares. 269 Radio Graffiti. Hey, Ghost. I'm a paraplegic veteran and a huge fan of Trump and yourself. I know you would support this due to your predicament, but I'm writing a letter to Trump to include in his health care bill free, free wheelchairs for people like you and me who can't afford them. I, I really can't wait for Trump to. Uh, you know, I mean, you see, now that was a decent troll because now if I say something about the guy, it, it makes it look like I'm, you know, making fun of a paraplegic veteran, all right? De- decent troll, jerk off. Uh, Burn Castle Witch, Radio Graffiti. Hey, Trump Senpai, I'm here. Hello, hi. Not just me, Trump Senpai. Trump Senpai, Trump Senpai, Trump Senpai. Hi, Trump Senpai, how are you doing? I am Yoko, I am a Japanese living in Japan, and today I wanted to make a video for you again, because I want you, Trump Senpai. No, no, none of this anime crap, no. 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 We're not doing that today, all right? 239 Radio Graffiti. Oh, well, hidey hole there, ghost. It's Mickey Mouse. Hey, I just wanted to let you know I was building a water ride based off of Texas for the parks, and I wanted to see if you, an engineer, wanted to be the cartoon characters for it. Let me know so we can get things rolling. I mean, uh... You know, first of all, that's an asshole thing to say, and secondly, it's even more of an asshole to say it as Mickey Mouse, all right? You prick. All right, it's serious business, this rain out here in Texas, boy. This is serious business. Intero bang, radio graffiti. Watchmojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 sexiest women in anime. Although beauty is in the eye of the beholder, for this list we've chosen... No, shut up, you stupid, dumbass, idiot, anime, sexualizing cartoon freak shows. We're not doing that today, you stupid, hairy palm scumbags. 716 Radio Graffiti. No, don't don't mix me with John Cena, all right? I don't understand the fixation of John Cena. I mean, personally, I think John Cena is a nice guy. But I don't like his stupid character, and you can't see me, and, you know, I, I think I'm black, but I'm white. I, 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 no, I don't think so. Uh, pivot Idiot Radio Graffiti. My dick, I love you. It's not my dick. I want to hear my dick. It's not the such a nice song. You know that? I mean, give me a freaking break, man. Jesus Christ. The only goddamn hit Extreme ever did, for Christ's sake, and you people have ruined it. 808 Radio Graffiti. Hello, American Ghost. This is Kim Jong-un wishing to advocate for future great leader of Honey's America, Hillary Clinton. She promised me to get my niece up, if you know what I mean. Oh, Jesus Christ. Look, I wouldn't doubt if Kim Jong-un was actually freaking campaigning for Hillary Rotten. Wouldn't doubt it if he, if he funneled money in the damn Clinton Foundation, for Christ's sake. Uh, I mean, I wouldn't doubt it, boy. I wouldn't doubt it. 435 Radio Graffiti. <laughs> Jesus Christ, with these damn remixes, man. Renegade Supreme, Radio Graffiti. It's time for the bureaucrats to run this country. 
Yeah, dude. Theocracy. Is good. Theocracy. Is my pal. You stupid scumbag. I hate bureaucrats, and everybody out there knows it. Stop it with those kinds of splashes, boy. Jesus Christ. Exara Hawks, Radio Graffiti. London Bridge is falling down. That's the true capitalist penis there. 781 Radio Graffiti. Rape isn't funny because rape isn't a joke. In fact, it's super duper serious. Studies have proven that even joking about rape is equal to, if not more rapey, than the act of rape itself. Oh, Jesus Christ. What, what kind of leftist garbage it was that crap? Cosmo Brockington, Radio Graffiti. Spaghetti, let me eat the board. Spaghetti, spaghetti. I need the spaghetti. Spaghetti, spaghetti. But on the surface, he looks cold. Spaghetti, spaghetti. But he keeps on spaghetti. What he wrote down, the whole crowd goes. Spaghetti. Goddamn it, Cosmo Brockington. Don't remix me with that scumbag Eminem. That sellout racist bastard who's making a mockery of Black Strife. Jesus Christ. 678 Radio Graffiti. Yo, I'm celebrating Taco Tuesday here with my EBT card. Yeah, well, who cares, all right, boy? I hope you chew on a rubber tortilla and choke on it, boy. Uh, the People's Republic of China, Radio Graffiti. Give me the drug that shrinks my penis and, uh, you know, gives me a heart attack. And I'm talking about the Johnny Walker Blue Label. Shut up, you scumbag. I was talking about cocaine in that reference. And you, I, screw you with that splice, boy. We got Karaz, uh, 2009, Radio Graffiti. Hey, goes. I think we got a bit of a situation here. Uh, net neutrality is out of, at, under attack again because of these net providers are, are trying to raise the prices under our noses. Yeah, well, I, I kind of knew that was going to happen, unfortunately, there, Karask. And it's, it's really unfortunate that everybody's need, – they need broadband. And guess who started buying up those broadband companies? You guessed it, the owners of them right now. Teutonic Plague, Radio Graffiti. So, Ghost, you've been a member of Star Wars Hotels for a long time, I imagine, and you've got access to the cocktail bar. Does this mean you're a part of their Jedi Club? And if so, don't pay your dues until they send you your fucking lightsaber, man. I'm serious. Yeah, well, I'm not really a member of anything like that, but uh, uh, I, I don't really want a lightsaber. Sorry there. Uh, who else? One more, and then we got to go, all right? Uh, let's see. Uh, make it count uh, 940, Radio Graffiti. Ghost, would you mind getting off of your wheelchair so I can lick your fat jelly ass? Oh, Jesus Christ. Take about ten steps away from my butt crack from that with that damn talk. Anyway, folks, uh, it looks like I may do just a couple of radio graffiti uh, calls post-show. And the only way that you can listen to the post-show right now is if you call and listen in via the phone, 516-453-9903. I'm going to go ahead and, uh, you know, make some room for anybody who wants to call. I mean, you better do it now if you want to listen to the post-radio graffiti show, folks. All right, 516-453-9903. Folks, go ahead and follow me on Twitter as well. All right, follow me on Twitter. Politics Ghost is the name to follow. All one word, no underscores. Politics Ghost. All right, and bookmark the official website of the True Capitalist Radio broadcast. It is blogtalkradio.com slash ghost. That's blogtalkradio.com slash ghost. Anyway, folks, I want to thank you for tuning in with me. Tomorrow is a Baller Friday free format edition. Same place, same time, 4 p.m. Central Standard Time. Long live the capitalist army, baby. Long live the capitalist army. It's a capitalist revolution. It's a capitalist revolution, baby. <laughs> All right, and we are officially off the air right now. The only way that you're able to listen to this broadcast is if you're listening via the phone at this point in time, folks. All right? I want to thank you for tuning in with me. You are now into the post-show edition of the True Capitalist Radio Broadcast. Now, I do want to reiterate, folks, that I am going to expand the show possibly next month in June. we got a lot of things going on this summer. The summer is usually 
packed to the hills with people on the Internet, and they're going to be listening to this show on a frequent basis. So we got a lot of things coming to the True Capitalist radio broadcast, all right? Now, not only are we going to extend the, the show an hour next month, but uh, I've also got a book that I am writing, folks. And believe it or not, it is not a book for capitalists that are experienced. It's not a book for uh, capitalists that kind of know what they're doing. I am writing a bare-bones, dumbed-down book, all right? And I'm making it as easy as possible so that even uh, a child, even a ambitious child who knows how to read and write, can take the information that I'm putting in this book and become an actual successful capitalist, all right? I'm serious. And let me tell you, I'm not going to charge a lot of money for this book. I'm just going to release it via the Internet so it will be purely digital, okay? And uh, I'm serious. I want people to, you know, if you are one of those people that are going to make excuses on why you're not a capitalist, why you hate capitalism, why you love socialism, and you haven't taken any initiative to make yourself a capitalist, I would strongly advise you to buy this book when I finally put it out. I'm still sketching it out. I'm still uh, writing it every single day. I'm doing a lot of things, folks, all right? But the reason that I'm, I'm talking about this book now is because I give it about two weeks, possibly the end of the month, and uh, I'm going to have this book out, folks, and it's for idiots. I'm telling you, I, I mean, you know, you know, uh, how to be a capitalist for you know, people that don't know how to be a capitalist, all right? I'm talking that people that make every excuse in the book on why they're unsuccessful. If you follow the blueprint that I'm putting forth in this book, you will be a successful capitalist, folks, all right? I'm serious. I mean, this is that kind of a book. I mean, for all you people that are making excuses that, oh, I can't do it. It's too hard. I don't get it. Where am I supposed to go? I'm giving you in this book... All right. I mean, an easy method. If you have absolutely almost nothing, if you follow this book, you will be a successful capitalist. All right. I'm serious, and I'm making it very easy to read. All right. I don't. I'm not trying to be elitist about this, and you know, make some very hard to articulate, very hard to comprehend book. I want everybody who reads it to become an actual successful capitalist, all right, because we need more capitalists in this world, folks. And look, there isn't a book that basically explains this in a very simplistic manner, you know, very simple language, you know, outlining, hey, what do I need to do to be a successful capitalist? What do I do to make my own dreams come true? What do I do? I'm going to tell you what to do, folks, so look for that. And on top of which, folks, I am going to sell a widget, folks. Now, I haven't decided what it's going to be yet, but a widget in which you can purchase, and uh, proceeds from this particular widget are going to go right into the show, meaning that when I raise, when I raise revenues with the sell of this particular widget, I'm going to use proceeds from that to basically give – cash prizes for uh, listeners of this True Capitalist Radio broadcast for different endeavors, for different contests, making it more interactive, making it a reason to listen to the True Capitalist Radio broadcast. I'm not kidding around. I got big plans for the True Capitalist Radio show, so stay tuned, and folks, please spread it around like wildfire. That True Capitalist Radio is in effect and in the house, for Christ's sake. All right, go to the forums, go to the blogs, go to the social networks, and let everybody know True Capitalist Radio is in effect and in the house, baby. You understand? I'm serious. I mean, I'm sitting up here. I'm, I'm committing the time, the energy, the effort to produce this show. The least you can do is help me spread the word about it, folks. All right, come on, man. Come on, man. Anyway, folks, uh, a lot of things in the pike for the True Capitalist Radio broadcast. I'm excited about it. I cannot wait. I cannot wait, for Christ's sake. All right, I, cannot, I can't wait. I'm serious. I cannot wait. Anyway, folks, I'm going to go ahead and get back to a little bit of radio graffiti, and then I'm getting the hell out of here. Once again, tomorrow is going to be a free format edition of the True Capitalist Radio Show. Bowler Friday, baby! 
And that means I am going to take the calls right away. I'm going to take your calls. And please, if you call up, have something to discuss, have something to talk about. I'll talk about anything you want to talk about. But please refrain from pulling your radio graffiti shenanigans to radio graffiti, all right? And, and of course, we'll have a longer radio graffiti tomorrow, and we'll also have a longer third-hour edition of the True Capitalist Radio broadcast as well. So once again, it's an exciting Baller Friday. And, of course, folks, I am considering having another anti-Mother's Day edition of the True Capitalist Radio broadcast this Sunday. I'm, I'm seriously considering it, all right? I may even I may even put a poll or something on Twitter to see if the people want to hear it, for Christ's sake. Politics Ghost is the name to follow on Twitter. All one word, no underscores, Politics Ghost, all right? I can't wait for Baller Friday, baby. And remember, have something to talk about, for Christ's sake, all right? I don't care what it is, as long as it's a serious subject matter. All right, let's get back to Radio Graffiti, and let's get back to it right now. All right, 712, Radio Graffiti. Hey, Ghost, would you be willing to talk about your wheelchair injuries for us? Yeah, oh, shut up, you idiot, all right? Shut your stupid ass for Christ. You know what, for you idiots, you know what? Hey, engineer, put on some goddamn music so I can show these people. Since it's the fifth of mayonnaise, since it's the fifth of mayonnaise, Cinco de Mayo, I could do some goddamn Ford Orico or some crap, all right? Just to prove to these scumbags that I am not a cripple, all right? Can you put on some music, please? All right, put it on here. Let me let me get ready to do some Ford Orico, all right? Uh-oh. Move la colita. Oh, yeah. It's the fifth of mayonnaise. Uh, Avel, Avel, I'm Avel Akolita. Avel, Avel, I'm Avel Akolita. Here, I'm going to go ahead and do four Lorico. Listen, listen, listen. I'm going to do four Lorico. Listen. Do you hear it? Do you hear me? I'm stomping my feet. I'm doing four Lorico. Listen. Do you hear me? I'm doing four Lorico. Yeah. Avel, Avel. I'm Avel Akolita. Avel, Avel. I'm Avel Akolita. Avel, Avel. I'm Ovel Akolita. Listen to me, I'm stomping my feet. I'm doing four Lorico. Do you hear it? Are y'all hearing it? Do you hear it right now? Listen. I'm doing four Lorico. I'm stomping my feet. I'm doing four Lorico. Yeah. I told you, I'm doing four Lorico. Avel, Avel, I'm Avel Akolita. Avel, Avel, I'm Avel Akolita. Avel, Avel, I'm Avel Akolita. Avel, Avel. All right, that's enough. T- turn it off, engineer. That's about enough of this. Turn it off. Shut it off. This should prove to all you scumbags, all right, that I am not a cripple, all right? All right, I just did four Lorico right now, for Christ's sake, man. I'm a little winded, for Christ's sake, because I have to show you scumbags that I am not a cripple. Let me take a swig of this goddamn drink here. Take a swig of this drink. And then we're going to go ahead and move on to a couple more calls of radio goddamn graffiti. And then I'm out of here. Ah, good stuff, baby, good stuff. Let's get back to Radio Graffiti, all right? How about Dark Sword, Radio Graffiti? 
Dark Sword, Radio Graffiti. I mean, who else besides 11-year-old girls are capitalists? Joseph Stalin and Vladimir Lenin. Don't you understand, folks? I Shut up. I mean, first of all, that, that, was, that was a horrible splice. And secondly, don't mix me with fruity-ass Duran Duran, all right? Thai Fruit Dragon, Radio Graffiti. Chew, 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 chew. Jesus Christ. I mean, give me a break, man. I mean, I, I thought this was unproved. This was proven years ago. I am not a Jew, all right? All right, I use yarmulkes for coffee filters, all right? Jesus Christ. Who else do we got? Bill, 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 Radio Graffiti. Dambo! 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 Yeah, r- real funny, asshole. 732 Radio Graffiti. <laughs> Jesus Christ, another John Cena remix? For Christ's sake! 574 Radio Graffiti. It will be legal in Texas to shoot Greg Abbott. Don't talk about my governor, boy! Don't talk about my governor, you piece of trash! Alright, because of Greg Abbott, I'm telling you, out here in Texas, you know, we can walk around with guns. All right, like it ain't nothing. I mean, open carry is the law in Texas, baby, all right? I'm serious. I'm considering getting some all, like, silver uh, shotguns or some kind of an all silver or gold type of, uh, you know, uh, assault rifle or something and just walk around town with that crap, man. Walk around, you know, like it's a freaking accessory out here. I'm serious, folks. If you don't believe me, come out here to Texas, boy. You understand? Come out here to Texas and start committing crime and see if your ass doesn't get blasted out here. Don't make fun of my damn governor, boy. Don't make fun of my governor. Divine Clan, Radio Graffiti. I'm here with presidential candidate Donald Trump. Mr. Trump, what are your thoughts on Ghost from True Capitalist Radio? He's one of the great sleazebags of our time. You son of a bitch. You are a son of a bitch. Let me tell you something, you scumbag. I'm going to tell you this right now, all right? I am in close with the Trump campaign. I just want to reiterate that, all right? I'm serious, folks. I'm telling you this right now, all right? I mean, haven't you noticed? I'm, I'm Look, I don't think it's a coincidence that when I came back, all right, now, not only is Donald Trump basically curbing a lot of his economic policies and his foreign policies based upon crap that I said years ago, but have you noticed that the rhetoric from Alex Jones is also changing a little bit? Haven't you noticed that? Uh, everybody used to claim that I used to sound like Alex Jones. Now people are starting to say that Alex Jones is starting to sound like me, boy, and that's why I don't like him personally. All right, That's why I don't personally like the man. All right, I'm sorry. All right, maybe I could squash it one day. Maybe, you know, we could have an interview in the near future with one another or something. I mean, I'll squash it when he finally admits that, you know, I inspired him or something. He ripped me off. That's all I'm saying. Anyway, Matt Cook, Radio Graffiti. Come with me. You'll be in a... Jesus Christ, your 386SX computer can't lift the freaking voice packets to the goddamn server, for Christ's sake. And get off your net zero connection. 808 Radio Graffiti. Hey, yo, it's me, the Happy Fairy. I'm going to give all those beer cuts on my herpes. Oh, Jesus Christ. Can you get benefits for having herpes? I don't think you can get benefits for having herpes. I mean, if you can get benefits from having herpes, that means like one in three people would have freaking disability or some crap. I'm serious. I'm not joking, man. You know, I'm telling you, you know, these uh, venereal diseases are more frequent than you can imagine, and I'm sure most of you that are imagining have them, all right? Anyway, uh, Boshi, Radio Graffiti. 
Hey, Ghost, love your show. Keep it up. Just um, wanted to clear up something. I'm sorry I said you were in a wheelchair last time. I didn't know I was going around, but uh, give you credit. Hope to see you at Highland Park United Methodist Church in Dallas, Texas. Buzz Aldrin will be signing his new book, No Dream is Too High, Life Lessons from a Man Who Walked on the Moon. And we hope to see you there. It's May 22nd. And there'll yeah, be a- no, no, look, let me tell you something, all right? I don't have anything to say to Buzz Aldrin, all right? He's an 80-year-old prostate-infected scumbag that went on Dancing with the Stars, all right? I mean, he just divorced his, what is it, his third wife, second wife, fourth wife, whatever. The hell. He just divorced her here like a couple of years ago. I don't understand old people that divorce their significant others. I mean, you're an old prostate-infected 80-year-old piece of trash. What, do you think you're going to put yourself back on the market or something? I mean, get get this, get him off my goddamn freaking switchboard like i've got time for this old prostate infected buzz aldrin for christ's sake this this fake uh moon landing nasa astronaut all right give me a break anyway 317 radio graffiti yeah jesus christ helen keller deaf mute why'd you even call for christ's sake uh capitalizing with you radio graffiti Herpes, 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 herpes. Jesus Christ, I just said that. I just said that, for Christ's sake. You already got a goddamn remix? I just said that. Jesus Christ. Orof, Radio Graffiti. Hello, guys. This is Or Cohen. Today was the Holocaust Memorial Day in Israel, so I just want to give a shout-out to the six million Jews that were murdered on in the Holocaust. Yeah, no kidding. I, I I do I do understand it is that day, and uh, very sad day indeed. Critical Sands Radio Graffiti. Go turn around and shake my cock. <laughs> oh my! I make poo poo in my britches. Who's gonna clean me? Oh Jesus Christ! You 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 sick twisted freaks, man! Sick twisted freaks. El Foxo Loco Radio Graffiti. Then, I fanned with full force, and on the count of three, a judicious projection of cum splattered Ann Coulter's face. Fucking owned, I said. And she, standing in her underwear, fully grasped Ronald Reagan's ever-expanding direction. Afterward, former President Bill Clinton rose to speak. B.J., please, he said. I gave him a seriously sexual suck on his cock that would make you feel incredibly lucky. Might work on his shaft was much better than Monica. And anyway, well, I've been thinking about it, and I've decided I love pie. I'd gotten some taste of growing the pie and baking the pie and governing the pie and shipping. That, that's enough, for Christ's sake. That's horrible. That's Barack Obama's voice, for Christ's sake. Did he actually say that? Good God! Jesus Christ. I mean, I got to take a shower after hearing that from Barack Obama's filthy, disgusting, bureaucratic, psychopath mouth. Jesus Christ, folks. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and cut it short here, folks, all right? Uh, I will extend the broadcast a whole hour t- and tomorrow's broadcast. I'm talking about Baller Friday, all right? I'm looking forward to it. I hope you're looking forward to it, all right? Spread it around like wildfire that we are in effect in the house. All right, please go ahead and bookmark the official website of the True Capitalist Radio broadcast. It is blogtalkradio.com slash ghost, blogtalkradio.com slash ghost. And follow me on Twitter, baby. Politics Ghost is the name to follow. All one word, no underscores, Politics Ghost. Once again, folks, I am excited. It's going to be a free format, Baller Friday edition tomorrow on the True Capitalist Radio broadcast. I am encouraging everybody to call in. We're going to talk about whatever you want to talk about. We're going to try to take as many callers as we possibly can. All right? And, of course, please refrain your stupid prank calls and your radio graffiti shenanigans to radio graffiti, please. All right? I'm serious. All right? So think about what you want to discuss. Think about what you want to talk about, and be sure to give me a call. And let me tell you, uh, you know, the phone lines start lighting up 15 minutes prior to the broadcast, all right? And what I, you know, I mean, I'm sorry. They just, they, they just do. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to take as many calls as I possibly can. And uh, whenever I take a call, hang up on a call, just keep, just keep calling, baby, all right? I mean, if you seriously want to discuss something with us, uh, just keep trying, all right? 
It's going to be a great free format edition of the True Capitalist Radio Show tomorrow for Baller Friday. All right, I'm excited. I hope you're excited for Christ's sake. And one more time before I get off this broadcast, please. All right, spread the link around like wildfire. All right, whenever I tweet that I'm about to come on the air or that True Capitalist Radio is 45, 30 minutes. Uh, uh, you know, two minutes, whatever minutes, all right? Retweet that son of a bitch, all right? I mean, go to the blogs, go to the forums, go to the s- social media sites. Spread it around like wildfire. Once again, we got all kinds of buttons next to you, right in front of you, all right? Right next to you in that little player right there. I mean, use and abuse those Facebook like buttons, retweet this button, social media buttons, all right? All right, I'm serious, man. Spread it around like wildfire, all right? I'm serious, folks. I mean, we need your help. I'm serious. I'm at about 70,000 live listeners. We need to get this son of a bitch to 150,000 live listeners, all right? We need to get this son of a bitch to 500,000 live listeners. That's why this summer I am looking forward to it. This summer is going to be a three-hour show. We're going to extend the uh, post-show into the fourth hour. And... uh, I also am going to, you know, provide, like I said, uh, a widget that people can buy, and the money from that widget proceeds are going to go into the show to provide money, actual money, to people that want to participate in True Capitalist Radio contests, uh, in True Capitalist Radio, you know, uh, yeah, contests, giveaways, so on and so forth, okay? Because I want people to not only appreciate the content of True Capitalist Radio, I want to pay some of the people that are out there producing some of the propaganda, some of the people that are producing, you know, some of the uh, some of the good word of what's happening out here in in, uh, True Capitalist Radio. All right, I'm serious. I I want to do that, and uh, just just be prepared for that. All right, just be prepared for it. Anyway, folks, thank you very much for tuning in with me. All right, Politics Ghost is the name to follow on Twitter. I am out of here. Tomorrow's Baller Friday. I can't wait, for Christ's sake. All right? Free format edition. All right? Blogtalkradio.com slash ghost. I am out of here. Same place, same time tomorrow, 4 p.m. Central Standard Time. We may or may not have a Sunday anti-Mother's Day edition show. I don't know. Anyway, thank you for tuning in with me, folks. Long live the capitalist army. And death to feminism, death to socialism, and death, death, death to totalitarianism. I'm out of here. <laughs>